good morning students uh, today i am going to unfold the history of the rise of islam and its uh, expansion in the all over the world now the birth of islam and the rise of islam which or uh, in the arabian peninsula which was the a uh, one of the one of the most of uh, the most uh, striking incidents in the history of the entire world because the rise of islam now it was a birth of a new culture a new religious uh, uh, jil a new religious enthusiasm which now in the passage of by the passage of the time this now influenced the continent of african continent european continent and the asia and the far east it now influenced and the made its influence over the rest of the world and now this was and not only this is islam birth of islam now this now gave birth a religious zeal a religious enthusiasm in the new islamic uh, islamic people now prophet muhammad now prophet muhammad who was the founder of the islam now who was the founder of islam and now under the prophet muhammad under his banner now islam not only not only made its victory over the religions or moreover this now uh, conquered a lots of a large tracts of the land and brought under its and islam was not a, only a religious incidents in the world most a, a striking religious incidents in the world no moreover it was a social it was a social new social elements for new a political system now it gave islam gave a new political system to the world a new religious a, a religious zeal to the world and moreover a social structure to the world and the new custom a new new and the new even it trades a new trades to the uh, trades to the uh, in eastern part of the world the hinduism and new trades to the christianity christianism christianity this gave a great threat to the christians also christianity also and now and it was the result of the birth of the islam ki which now after birth for a long time a struggle a struggle began amongst began uh, not only uh, began between the christians and as well as in the other uh, religious sects and the this is islamic people now after the war the prophet muhammad not only laid the foundation of a religious a religious structure a religious beliefs and the religious now this islam was a new way of the life the new way of the life a new uh, political system a new social system that uh, no doubt influence the entire world and now that is why that this uh, this uh, arabian peninsula became the cradle of the different civilization cradle cradle of the different civilization where the many civilization now flourished uh, in the arabian great arabian peninsula and now or during this incidents happened during the 7th century understand the world prophet muhammad now he first now uh, first organized he first of all now uh, uh, organized or attracted the local tribals and barbers barbers people barbaric people they were brought under the flag of islam and these new people these new uh religious they, they were the full of the religious forwards and the religious still and now for the reasons they fought many battles for the expansion of islam 
by Islam that the people of the different orders, people of the different religion now embraced the Islam and, the, and Islam now expanded its, uh, expanded its influence through the different ways. Willingly, many peoples now embraced the Islam, became the, influenced by the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad and as well as those, those states and the, those territories which were conquered by the Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad and, and, and his uh, uh, successors and the peoples of those lands, living those lands of the different uh, uh, beliefs, they, they were now at the point of sword, they were forced to join the Islam. Whether the Islam now laid the two choices, whether embraced or ready for the time. The two choices they had kept in beginning, put before the world, the two choices, whether they uh, just uh, joined the Islam or the ready for the death. And under the Islamic states, understand whether they had to be the leave. And every Islamic states, the, the other religious people, they used to say them to the Kafir. That they should leave. And they should now live under the Islamic state as a as a sub -Syrian. Not a equal to the uh, uh, Islamic people. So let's see, the first we have to be the see that you know, but in a broader sense, Islam, Islam, the term has derived from the Arabic word as the Aslam, which means the to submit or to obey the command. To submit or obey the command. This word has been derived from the Arabic word. Or in broader sense, Islam is a name of a religion which arose the 7th century in the Arabian Peninsula. We know very well that Prophet Muhammad, he was the founder of the Islam or undoubtedly the birth of Islam is the one of the great incidents or the events in the history of the world. History of the world as the great historians. Uh, w, uh, Sir, Sir Hague, W. Hague, Wiljale Hague, Wiljale Hague, now he had remarked, rightly remarked that the remark is one of the wonders of the history. At the birth of Islam, now Wiljale Hague, one of the prominent historians, he now remarked that this was the birth of Islam was the wonders of the world. And it is the, really the Islam now influenced. Islam was not only a religion. I have already said it was a way of life. It was the way of a, 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 new, poly, a, a new political system. It now uh, uh, gave and offered the world. A new social system Islam now, Islam now gave. A new uh, culture, food, habits of lives, everything the Islam now give a, a new culture, a new culture in which the everything comes, new military system to the world, science, science, mathematics in all fields the Islam had a, now a, a, a great a contribution to this world. And moreover, we see that it was a totally changed and existing equation in the lands of East, East and the West. Islam now, uh, later on, the Islamic people and the, with the full of the religious zeal, they uh, started the making the victory over the European land, European continent. And it's a, uh, now this expanded East, West, North and South. And moreover, the empire, this vast empire, now uh, from the well in the west, its uh, uh, ascendancy, its uh, 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 influence touched the Atlantic, and uh, in the uh, Atlantic, and so, and moreover, oceans or here in the east, the it touched the Indus Valley. Uh, or the Indus rivers, Hindus, 
in those rivers it touched its uh, border and moreover in the, the north it uh, extended influence up to the caspian sea caspian sea and in the south aside in the south now here the egypt was under complete under the control of islam so so many of the regions which were included in the islam spain portugal portugal of spain and the certain part of the france north africa north africa egypt arabia syria mesopotamia armenia persia persia and the, the whole central asia was under the control of and moreover the afghanistan and baluchistan in the sea in the east afghanistan and baluchistan was its a eastern point and uh, moreover christian states of europe made a number of efforts although islam was a great threat a great menace for the europeans and for the christianity so the europeans now they made up uh, that their coalitions for the checking the influence of islam towards the europe the now for that later on we shall study study later on uh, that uh, these uh, european states formed a coalition and fought the crusade against the uh, against the islam but even then europeans could not uh, check the threat of the islam and its expansion of the islam and moreover india too in our country now we know that for a for a very soon after the rise of islam in 712 what we see 712 the first day time they conquered the uh, 12 uh, the they, they conquered the sindh the area sindh which was uh, ruled by a brahmin king sudhir and now the reason was a very minor now for a long time we checked uh, checked it and only the two pass the uh, bolan and khaib through the bolan and khaibers pass that the central asia could come to the india even this uh, a very difficult uh, a, a difficult set of uh, topography they now uh, just a uh, got success to enter in india that the first day uh, appearance of islam in india we can see that it was the in the year 712 the battle was fought between the dahid muhammad bin qasim who was the commander in chief of the commander in chief of the hajaj and reason was that ki one of the ships laden with cargo and the many slaves boats was passing through through the sindh sindh harbor the where the some of the pirates the seas dockers they now attack on the uh, that uh, attack on that ship and uh, uh, it was the sacked and looted and all the slaves gold sand of and the uh, uh, booties we are looted and the seized by the robbers now so then the hazars when the message was conveyed to the hazars he was uh, uh, now he became very furious and after that he now threat sent a message written message to the dahil and now he wanted a reply from the dahil he under his uh, ascendancy under his territory the the ship uh, carrying carrying the gifts from the uh, from carrying the gifts from the uh, silon to the uh, hajaz was looted why reason but the dahir now very politely he wrote and sent the mess a uh, uh, written message that it is uh, robbers are not my citizen citizen of sindh so that's why what could be done so then he became the very furious and sent under this pretense under this pretense he sent and mobilized the army uh, against the dai and ultimately the he was now uh, defeated i will not go in detail there he was defeated and then after 
the hero was defeated and he was slew in battlefield and two of his daughters were now uh, caught and brought to the harem of the judge but uh, these two daughters now had a conspiracy and plan to take the revenge from the muhammad bin qasim who was responsible for the slaughter of his, their fathers father understand so now under this uh, context they uh, now uh, they told lie they have been the already outraged their modesty not remains as a result what happens now hajjaj became very furious and he ordered killings of killing and assassinations of a uh, assassinations of a uh, of the uh, muhammad bin qasim so this is the incident the first time but the first time the muslims islam now advent of islam happened in the sindh and where they impose and it is the rule of the islam principles of the islam injection of the islam that no kafir should be the let alive under the islamic state whether they have to be converted into the converted and embrace the islam otherwise ready for the death so now under these conditions muhammad bin qasim wrote a letter already wrote before his death wrote the letter to the hajjaj ki we are just as a little amount of the salt in the dish and the hindus are the in the huge amount of the food in the dish and we are a little like a salt little our a, a, a little number we are here how can it how could it be possible to to slay all these uh, uh, communities the now they uh, uh, chop out a new and uh, uh, now discovered a middle way that was the jazia the first time on a hindu state jazia was imposed upon first time the jazia was imposed upon the hindus and right from the second attack we know that india was deeply penetrated by the muhammad ghaznavi 1001 right from 17 times he attack on india and uh, his target was not to establish the empire in india his uh, aim was only aim was only to only to looting looting of these temples now he had a, a very good informations about the booty about the wealth wealth in the temples kept in the temples and gold silvers diamonds the now he his eye was only fixed on that so he is 17 times came and now uh, looted and robbed the temples sacked the temples and one of the important incidents about the uh, 1025 the sack of the somnath temples a huge untold wealth now he uh, unestimated wealth he carried although he was not a uh, now a not a uh, just only in our views muhammad bin uh, 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 muhammad ghaznavi was a uh, just as a robbers like the robbers no he was a very good uh, uh, administrator in the ghaznavi very good administrator and he loved he was a not only the wrecker or demolisher a person of demolishing the structures no although he took the advantage of the religious fervors of the new islamic people and a jihadi jihad he now placed for that religious for these all the dj block of the sultans now they time to time to uh, inspired their army to inspired their, uh, their army to make their army very able 
and the enthusiastics full of enthusiasm they now instill the sense of jihad in their minds a religious fervors and religious spirit in their mind for winning only the target was winning the winning the battle now not establishing the islam winning the battle this was the motives behind this uh, rule the so we see uh, the muhammad ghaznavi now looted he was a good administrator and uh, ghazni uh, in siyasat nama a book had been written down and under this he had been the uh, told as a very good administrator later on we see that the actual establishments of the islamic rule in our country in india their real expansion towards the east or the particularly in india it uh, happened through came through in 1191 and 91 91 and 92 in 11 1191 in the first battle of tarai prithvira chohan ruling over the delhi and the uh, mohammad gori the real ambition of mohammad gori was to establish the empire in india laid the foundation of the empire in india but on the contrary mohammad ghaznavi his aim was to looting the india looting the booty from india and the capturing the booty from india so this was the difference uh, and in between them ultimately mohammad de gori got the success establishing the empire in india he got the success and this success was very good and uh, got the success and uh, established the muslim empire in india and after that in 1206 uh, kutubuddin abak laid the foundation of the slave dynasty in india the later on we shall see the in the east day, the muslims now make their advances uh, beyond the indus that was the incidents in two times further in we shall study here the vast territories now a uh, vast territories from egypt to afghanistan worth mentioning that the uh, regions remain the core area of islamic civilization from 600 ad to the first day, to know the history and to construct the history of any country as students as a being a history a students of history we must know about the sources and uh, upon which uh, the history the building of history had been constructed building of history had been constructed how the history is created how the history is written and cited understand from where the we historians have to depend upon the raw materials which we now get from the archaeological sources from the uh textual sources textual from the travelers from the traders from the christian mission from the religious missionaries and from the remains and other sources these are the sources of the knowing the history of the any uh, topic on the on of the and uh history of a, any topic or any dynasty so so students let's say come to the history first uh, chronicles and the semi historical works we shall now focus the first uh, uh, our first our uh, sources is the chronicle now uh, this uh, and the semi historical historical and semi historical works uh, historical works say are completely written devoted to the historical events historical writings and chronicles are completely written and in a, a, in, a, in a in a narrative manners in a very narrative manners or in a orderly it is written all the incidents or events are laid down or narrated 
तो दिस इज द कॉल्ड एज द क्रोनोलॉजी क्रोनोलॉजी मींस ए ऑर्डरली डेट से और द एविडेंस इज द लेड डाउन इन द क्रोनोलॉजिकल वर्क एंड दिस इज द कॉल्ड एज द क्रोनिकल्स ऑफ द तबारिक इट इज द वेरी सिग्निफिकेंस एंड हिस्ट्री एंड क्रोनिकल्स क्रोनोलॉजिकली ऑफ द नरेशन ऑफ द इवेंट्स इज कॉल्ड एज अ तबारिक and it is a very significant in order of time known as the order in order of the time time order is just given and the incidents are written moreover students uh, the works like uh, biographies these are the co come under a semi historical work it means that it not intended to write the history and the incidents in the order manner no. these are the semi historical means the biographies comes under sira it is called as the sira also records records of the sayings and doings of the prophet muhammad prophet muhammad this is called as the hadith records of sayings and doings of the prophet muhammad this is the known as the sira sira sorry this is called as the hadith sira is the biographies hadith is the uh, hadith is the now uh, sayings and doings of the prophet muhammad and now and commentaries on the quran tafsir many of the commentaries on the quran original quran many commentary has been written down rewritings or the many comments or the added or deducted like that many analysis analytical works has been done this is called as the commentary so many commentary has been written on the quran or this is this these kind of the uh, uh, works are called as a tafsir tafsir moreover produced the material collected from large collection of eye witness or these these works have been now uh, uh, have been produced from the material collected from a large collection of eye witness report large collection of eye witness report akbar eye witness report akbar akbar is published the eye witness reports come in the akbar no? like that the eye witness say, reports are called the akbar or these chronicles were transmitted over a period of time either orally or paper or in paper by the passage of the time these were transferred transferred from one generation to other generation or, or transferred in the paper or the oral these akbar is news were in the paper or on paper the authenticity of each report or khabar was tested by the critical method but uh, not all reports were uh, so easily uh, published no these reports had to go and pass through the a uh, processes a very critical processes or analytical processes and uh, means the it was the process of combing the facts combing the actual facts gross facts were analyzed and only the actual facts were published and this process under it chain of transmission transmission was traced and reliability of the narrator was established a chain of transmission happened or reliability whether the uh, informant informant is just a uh, informed really or not uh, and actually it was a well analyzed uh, or one thing is that the medieval muslim writers were more careful in selecting their information understanding the motives of their informant a medieval now intellectuals and the writers were very much aware of their writing only they collected the matters right or, or, or the, the motives of the informants to uh, uh, what is the motive of informant that was analyzed and uh, information was motivated whether motivated or biased or not we can say in other word that it was the biased or not and selecting motives of their informants and contemporary in other parts of the world most of the chronicles and the semi historical works have been the produced in arabic language most of the historical 
and semi works in the arabic language one the tarikh of tabri now tarikh of tabri is the most significant of all these works tarikh of al tabri and it has been the translated uh, in english in the 38 volumes now this has been the translated in 38 volumes students now today this is the uh, as a next day period i will uh, mention the further topics related to this chapter please thank you very much